because it's a beautiful fall day. So I am, I'm a perfectionist, yes. It sucks to be a perfectionist, it does. I, I feel for anyone that is a perfectionist. How does it affect me? Well, sometimes in my life it's controlled my life. And so when I was in college, I was doing a, an honors thesis. Yes, I was an honors student because I was a perfectionist. <laughs> I'm a perfectionist, right? And um, so it's not just enough to have A's, make good grades. I had to have a 4 right? So I had no life. It controlled my life. All I did was study. It was like eat, sleep, study. And now my life is kind of the same. It's like eat, sleep, train, eat, sleep, train. <laughs> eat, sleep, train, do yoga every single day, run every single day. So yes, I'm a self-proclaimed perfectionist. Perfectionism isn't really healthy though. It's not. And I've learned that. But yeah, in college, this was when I learned that I'm a perfectionist. So I'm working on my honors thesis and I go into my advisor's office and and I, I was like, I had all these, like this whole stack of research that I had accumulated and I was throwing around ideas with her and she just had me set it all down. She's like, here, Josie, just set it all down, set it all down. And then she's like, what did she say? She said, I think you need to work on your perfectionism problem. <laughs> I never realized it was a problem. <laughs> But, you know, after that, looking in hindsight, it was a big problem. And she said to me, she said, Josie, this could be your dissertation, not your thesis. <laughs> and in hindsight, it really was a problem. Like, it was at the risk of my health. And in recent years, I've been working very hard meditation and yoga to allow perfectionism into my life like the dishes can sit in the sink sometimes you know it's okay take care of yourself first you know and now my best advice for anyone that has a perfectionism problem it is a problem. Oh, the sun feels good. I'm distracted by the sun. What was my best advice? To let go and allow imperfections into your life. And the only way to do that is to distract yourself. Why? Because perfectionism is linked to obsessive compulsive disorder and anxiety disorders. And the only way to overcome that and let go of your perfectionism is to distract yourself. Out of sight, out of mind, right? I need prescription sunglasses really badly. So yes, distraction, distraction, distraction. That is how I have overcome some of my perfectionism problems. Now, <laughs> they'll never go away. <laughs> you should see my house. It's pretty immaculate most of the time. It's, it's ridiculous. I have to make rules with myself. You're only allowed to clean your house once a week. Otherwise, I'd spend all my time cleaning. So I do it once a week and then when I have the urges to be a perfectionist, I distract myself, right? It's like, no, get out of your house, do something. So that's my best advice for anyone 
who has a perfectionism problem like I do. <laughs> There's some people fishing over there. It's a beautiful day, so oh. why? Good luck with it, any of you perfectionists out there. <laughs> 